How are you doing today? I'm fine. Uh, yeah. okay. uh, one time I came here, I asked you about Quran in the Russian language or Ukrainian. Yes, you did, you did, you did. Uh, yes, this is it. Yeah. You see that this is Russian language. But it's not Quran. That's Quran. It's Quran? Yeah, that's a full Quran. Do you have anything else in Russian language or you? Uh, we only have the Quran in Russian language, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 You can open and have a look. All the content in it. We I just have like this. Uh, yeah. A book I have in Ukraine. Yeah. No, this one is specifically in Russian language. You can see it's written yeah. Russian. Yeah. And then we also have Romanian, Portuguese, Polish, as well. How so much? it's free. free. Yeah. I can take it, yeah? Yeah, you can take it, sister. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. This is Stanley. Hello. Hello. Stanley. How are you doing today? Good, good. Alhamdulillah. And you? Oh, good, good. He's a Christian. He believes in Jesus. Oh, mashallah. You sure? And uh, he believes in Jesus. Are you... I don't want to disappoint you, Annika, because you realize when you pray them, my dog's wee on their post every morning, so you've had my, your head in my dog's wee. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. We will try and raise over there. We didn't see one donation in the bucket. Okay. What's our name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. And even the respect of our history and our culture. Yeah. Thank you. Try coming in, create our own. Thank you. Every Saturday, Sunday, twelve o'clock to four o'clock, we are here. So please ask, come back, ask this question. And you know, being a Muslim, it actually makes you closer to Christ. It brings you closer. To Christ. So you know, um, I wish you all the best, my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah. I wish you have a good day. Yeah? Have you read the Quran yourself at all? I have not. Why not read one? No, no, let me give you a, a copy of the Quran. Where I, do you mind if I ask originally where are you from? I'm Nigerian. Okay, I'm from Ghana as well. Okay. Oh, wow. You see, we are close, mm -hmm. you see. <laughs> and uh, Nigeria is full of Muslims, a lot of them. And you haven't read the Quran yourself? Why? Right? I've come across that before. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's important. Of course, read. The, when you read this Quran and you accept the message of the Quran, you will be more Christian than any Christian at all. The reason why I'm saying this is um, the Quran talk about believing one God. The Bible says you should believe in only one God according to Jesus. According to John 17 verse 3, he said that this is life eternal, that they may know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. That's the number one step. Number two is the Muslim creed of prayer is to put our forehead on the ground. When Jesus, peace be upon him, according to the Bible, when he was, uh, when the Jews were after him and he needed help from God, he went to the Garden of Gethsemane according to Matthew 26, 39, according to Mark 14, 37, he went a little further and he fell on his face and he prayed to God. This prayer he did exactly, he prostrated to God and said to God that, Oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass of me, not as I will, but as thou will. This statement, not as I will, as thou will, if you put it in Arabic language, it is Islam. So that's the second thing. Abraham, he prostrated the same thing. Moses did the same thing. Solomon did the same thing. David, did, all the messengers, they did the same thing. The third one is we give charity. Charity is to help the poor if you have in excess wealth and then you give it to charity and help the poor so that they can also come out of the struggle of what? Poverty. And the Quran is say that. The Bible, if you read Second Peter chapter 4, verse 8, it says that you should give charity. Why? Because charity covers multitude of sins. That's the first creed of Islam, the third creed of Islam. And the fourth creed of Islam is we are fasting. And the fasting takes place on the nine month of lunar calendar. The Bible, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 36, verse 9, says that on the ninth month of the lunar calendar, not the educational calendar we have, that Israel, he led the people in Israel and the nations into fasting the whole month, which we also do. 
And the fifth one is we perform pilgrimage, as you know, most popular one. Yeah. We do, everybody come together yeah. as one people to worship one God. Yeah. And the Bible says in Psalms chapter 84, verse 2 to 5, it says that bless us those, the Bible says that bless us those who travel through the highway and go through the valley of Bacca, which the Muslims do. So, yeah. And Jesus actually confirmed that. He says in Matthew 5, verse 17, that think not, I've come to destroy the laws or the prophets, I've come not to destroy them, but to know how to fulfill them. So this is actually the message. So when you become a Muslim, you are more following Jesus than you are today. Uh, so forget about what people say that uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, died for our sins. Don't, that idea, he himself never taught that. It was after him that these ideas come inside. Otherwise, he wouldn't be praying to God. Otherwise, God would not be just to those people who he destroyed, like you know Moses and the people of Egypt he destroyed. Noah people, he destroyed them. Why? Because of their sins. So when we all agree and we follow the common basic principles of God, we will become more God consciousness than we are, and we will be more followers of Jesus than we are today. Okay, right. so read the Quran. When you have any question yeah. about the Quran or anything that is bothering your mind about even the Bible, and you want to find information about it in the Quran, and you can't find, please let come here, and then we can discuss, right. and then we can clarify each other because we we don't want our friends and brothers and sisters to go to hell. No, but people may say so, but. The Bible is very clear that you have to work for your salvation, not to wait for someone to come and take the sin away from you and you get it. No, the Bible didn't teach that. According to Jesus himself, according to Jesus' disciples, after Jesus, then people who, are, who brought this in. So if you read the uh, Nazarene, the Gospel of Nazareneans, who were actually true followers of Jesus, you will find that their practices are exactly the same as the Muslims are doing. All right. I right. uh, hope to see you another time. Okay. No all, right? uh, you enjoy yourself and read the Quran with open mind. Yeah. I've read the Bible to the best I can, yeah. so that I can also share that information with okay. my Christian friends. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Bye bye.